Nearly 150 education providers in the UK now have bachelor's and master's degree courses in video game creation. Games design, coding, industry studies, sound work, these are all the career avenues available to young people wishing to get into games making. Having inspected a lot of these courses, however, I was alarmed to discover that the historical, sociological and the political te teachings are a rarity to be part of the curriculum. Some courses will perhaps offer a 20 credit module on the history of game art, maybe a task of creating a small game inspired by a piece of modern art, but rarely is gaming treated as an influential cultural phenomena it has become. The industry's historical sexism ties with the Western military industrial complex, the rise of games as objects of political propaganda, Gamergate, the human cost of hardware production, industry labor relations, gamification as a reinvention of late phase capitalism, material labor. These are only a small fraction of the issues that a responsible games developer or games critic really should be aware of. There is an undeniable relationship between the development of games culture and the so-called culture wars, plaguing the online sphere today. It is the task of universities and colleges to inform their students of the responsibility they hold when their products get latched on by unsavory crowds. I myself graduated from a master's degree in art and politics, but arguably gaming is now a much more rich political and anthropological sphere than fine art, so it only makes sense that games on politics scores should definitely exist. Characters like Milo Yiannopoulos and State Bannon are only able to utilize gamers as a swarm for their political needs, because us as progressives are investing so little time in nurturing critical thought in the field. Well, it's time to change that. There are some superb academics right now writing their thesis on game studies. The talent should be harvested for guest lecturing and creation of completely new courses. As important as it is to learn technical abilities, it is equally crucial to instill responsibility and knowledge of history into the young game developer. Thoughtful, lasting releases would also assess with the game's discoverability problem the many in the developers suffer from. So a win-win, basically. So you just watch Left Left Up with me, Mariam Dijkalvita. Please like, retweet, and invite me to guest lecture at your uni, please. <laughs> Bye.